So, Sony, Sony, Sony. Spooked ya. No, no, I figured. Sony, Sony, Sony. Sony. Deals, Dora, deals. Dora, Dora, Dora. <laughs> we went two different ways with that. <laughs> well, uh, the old roller coaster tycoon games, you know, they're the patrons in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 always had like random gibberish they were saying. One of the things always sounded like somebody went, Dora, Dora, Dora. <laughs> so I always think whenever somebody says Dora, I'm, Dora, Dora, Dora. Uh, so yeah, so let's start with some Sony, Sony, Sony stuff. Uh, you mentioned, you put down, they want Anya Taylor-Joy to play Black Cat and they want Emma Stone to come back to play Gwen Stacy. And Jennifer yes. Lawrence to play Madam Web. We mentioned Jennifer Lawrence playing Madam Web in two episodes ago. Um, so we don't need to go too much into that. That's just another, yeah. we're the best. We mentioned yeah. this before. Yeah, I know a lot of things. Uh, we we first talked about J-Law back in the day to play Enchantress. Yep. Uh, but then they kind of mixed that role into... That, that's what you said last time. Uh, yeah. And then we yeah. talked about Jennifer Lawrence yeah. not sharing how she would feel about playing another superhero. Yeah. So um, we talked about it. Uh, we talked about that. Uh, I think it's super smart um, for them to, let's see. So I think it would be very smart for Sony to do a Spider Gwen. However, it has to be <clears throat> that, that universes. It's got to be the Amazing Spider Man's kind of universe, sure. multiverse type thing, because Spider Gwen how they're doing it with multi or into the spider verse and across the spider verse is younger and kind of miles morales's age um yeah so i mean that so like in mcu wise i think gwen stacy would be better for miles miles's kind of thing agreed um especially because they're doing the kind of whole like romance thing with miles and her yeah so i think that would be better for that however if peter goes to college and he runs into a Felicia Hardy, which doesn't exist in our universe, but exists in the Amazing Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man's universe. That was kind of Green Goblin's Oscorp's assistant. Yeah. Right? Felicia Hardy. Um, so, but Anya Taylor-Joy is obviously very big right now. She's got the Queen's Gambit on Netflix, more known uh, in uh, the New Mutants as a magic. I know a lot of people saw that one. When oh, yeah. it comes to Marvel yeah. movies, that's kind of up there with. And like game. Queen's Gambit wasn't that big. Yeah, so, so it's more yeah. known for New Mutants. New Mutants, yeah. So, but I mean, she played, she can play a superhero um, or super villain. I don't know, but um, Black Cat, you know, is a is like a love interest for Peter Parker. Like Black Cat, like falls in love with Peter, as, while also being a villain. It's very, it's very weird. So it'd be mm -hmm. a different, be a very different, Catwoman esque with yeah Black. Uh, yeah black man batman yeah. yeah oh my god yeah more on that later um yeah yeah uh, um, but yeah i think it'd be smart for them to do um gwen stacy uh gwen stacy spider-man sorry that's uh, kind of them <laughs> sorry uh, it's my my brain oh so my I, I those are the sorts of things i need to hold back that's so, yeah. so i mean in in into the spider-verse uh gwen Gwen Stacy becomes Spider-Man when her Peter Parker dies. Sure. It can be the same thing where her Peter Parker looked like Andrew Garfield and Andrew Garfield died. And then all of a sudden they see each other and it's like fireworks. So sure. um, but then the MCU, if they want to save it for um, miles, that makes sense too. For the like the amazing Spider-Man Gwen Stacy, I did see that uh Emma Stone is actually four she wants to come back yeah and i know marvel said she was they br were gonna bring her they were gonna bring her back for, at least in a producing role yeah a long time ago and everyone thought it was for a spider woman one and what most, most people know is spider woman doesn't actually have any spider powers it's right she's a psychic thing. yeah it's like psionic abilities so but everyone thought they were bringing her back to direct or produce that um and they think that daisy ridley would be a perfect fit for that obviously the star wars ties but um yeah so i, thought, I don't know i'm pretty sure happen. daisy ridley in a recent interview said she's not interested in doing a superhero movie yeah yeah pretty sure she said that she's worked with tom holland before though so. right we'll see so, yeah we'll see a um, lot of information I, yeah. we're throwing uh, so at emma stone says she wants to come back i think miles should be the miles universe 
Yeah, for the MCU. Yeah, but I think if they if they want to end Andrew's story and do that Spider Gwen, I think that'd be pretty amazing, pretty remarkable. He would get his ending, I guess. But I would also love to see them Venom's and uh, Morbius's worlds be in the Amazing Spider-Man universe. So that's what. Uh, so I'll more. There was a poll of twenty-two thousand people saying which Spider-Man would you want to be the one going up against uh, Morbius and which one would you like to go up against Venom? Both resulted in uh, Andrew Garfield getting 77% of the votes. Yep. So, just want to just makes too much there. sense like, yeah, age-wise. Like they're age-wise it's just the same the same they're the same age. It's just The next Sony thing is that Sony is considering a Spider-Man 4 with Sam Raimi. And then you put down, obviously, that means they'll do The Amazing Spider-Man 3 as well. Yeah, I think The Amazing Spider-Man 3 makes too much sense for them. They A lot of, like, teases and and just stuff that Andrew Garfield didn't get to do is in his run as Spider-Man. And they, it'd be a cash cow for Sony. So oh, for sure. Well. And then if they do another one with Toby, if Toby wants to be down for that, then, I don't know, it might as well. Yeah, well, I, I think that's smart. Not only are you cashing in, but it's just something that fans want. And both guys are good. I, I Obviously, I'm, if I'm picking, I'm taking The Amazing Spider-Man 3 over Spider-Man 4. Right, and then you can just leave Tom Holland's... Leave Tom Holland to stay in the Marvel Universe, and then you can do what you want in the Sony Universe with yours, with Marvel's help, but... But you can do your Sinister Six that you've always wanted to do. Which, which they should. Right. And they made multiple hints at Andrew Garfield not fighting an alien yet. Yeah. That's got to be Venom. Right. The next thing is, uh, and I want to mention, now speaking of Andrew Garfield and Tony, Toby McGuire, um, apparently they were signed on to No Way Home in December of 2020. Right. So they knew. They knew. They knew. And yeah. apparently the first time they heard what was going on, they didn't care what the story was. They both were in. They were just they were down. Yeah. yeah. So I That's don't awesome. blame them. But they, awesome. they've been signed on for a while and they've been hiding it for a long time. Yeah, Andrew Andrew, Andrew has Toby hasn't been asked at all. To, Toby was like they, I remember there's a thing where it's like I just asked uh I was like I asked Toby if he was in the new Spider Man, he was just like like do a little like like a little smile and then uh <laughs> <laughs> So, whereas Andrew's like, no, no, I have no, I have no idea. He did no uh, idea. the week before the movie came out. He said, "I am sorry, I am not in it. I'm sorry to disappoint you." Yeah, and then Toby's just like, <laughs> Toby's just like, I'm not hiding anything. I'm too old for this to fake it. There's a car there. <laughs> I can't move, motherfucker. There's people there, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Toby. Uh, uh, well, we mentioned Venom. Morbius, that sort of thing. Let's jump into the last Sony topic we have. Sony, 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 Sony. Uh, Morbius is going to be one hour and 48 minutes, which is longer than Venom 2, but shorter than Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah, I, that's a that seems like a good length. I agree. It's going to be more origin story than anything else. So they're not building much. You don't need it to be too long. It's less than two hours. It's not like, a, what was Venom? Like a buck 32 or like an Venom hour was 32? like, yeah, like 90 something minutes. Yeah. So... I don't know, you're getting 15 more minutes, which could have done worlds. My wife Venom. wants that all the time. Yeah. Minutes? <laughs> yeah. Just 15 more minutes. Just 15 minutes. Not a chance. For me, it's like, nah, you're getting that. I mean, the runtime's in the mo- runtime for Morbius is an hour and 48 minutes. I'm lucky to get to an hour and 48 seconds. That's. <laughs> Or a minute and 48 seconds. I was going to say, wow. That's still <laughs> impressive. Yeah. But yeah, so I, I, I think that's a perfect, perfect It'd be a good length. There's going to be a, it's still a good length be... to introduce some characters. And... Right, Post credit scene or two. So, Anyway, that's it for Sony, Sony, Sony. 